Okay, a short video just to show you how to get multiple um, data fields onto a web form. Um, so I've got this web form here um, that's got a couple of fields on it, first name, uh, email, and then birthday. Um, and if, the, if we look at the birthday, the birthday has actually got a date picker in it. Um, so I can, you know, I can pick my uh, birthday, which is the 20th of May, uh, for those of you that are interested. Um, but actually 1964, so uh, unfortunately, so I can put the date in there with it, that date picker. Um, and while that's you know more elaborate, at least I've got control of this uh, of this this date. Um, it is an American date, but at least from here I can see how to actually do this um, with uh, with a date picker. Okay, but what if I want to get another uh, date field on here? Maybe I want to get a custom date field on here um, for uh, use for things like sending out reminders. Uh, if I'm going to send out a reminder, of which I'm going to have to use the legacy follow-up sequence in order to use that functionality, um, but I want to get a reminder on here. So what I'm, what I'm going to need is a uh, custom field. Okay, so I go and create a custom field, and here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, this custom field here, but this is a date field, and notice that it's the of, of the format date. That's uh, that, that's how that's got to um, got to work. Um, and then I want to go and put that onto my web form. Uh, you can use Campaign Builder web forms um, to generate this. It's just you can't send out reminders based on dates in contact records inside uh, con uh, Campaign Builder. Okay, so let's put this date field in here. Let me show you how to do that. Very simple. And let's go in and edit this form. Okay, so we just grab a uh, other field and we select the reminder field, pop that in there. Now I, I'm going to need another version of this uh, code here because if I click on this code that drives the, the date field, okay, you can see the little piece of code there that puts the style sheet around and it makes a call um, to this uh, library. Um, which is Google API library, it's a jQuery library here which is very nice um, that's great but that references this particular field okay which is the birthday field which is fine for driving the date picker for the birthday but going to be no good for my other field so what I want to do is just copy all of that and grab another HTML snippet and just drop it in here it actually doesn't matter where on the form it goes but just paste that in there okay but obviously that still references because I just copied it the wrong field okay so what we need to do is we need to find the it's kind of the name of this field now the database is going to call it underscore reminder but actually I'm using firebug if I just click on firebug and click in this element here you don't know that you can see down here at the bottom of the screen this particular field references this uh, reference here which is inf underscore custom underscore reminder so that's what I need so I'm just going to copy that okay and then come back into here and under here I'm just going to paste that in there and paste it in again here okay like that save that I can turn firebug off now and now when I save that and test my form so I've got birthday works as a date picker but so also does the reminder field okay and that way I can control the date picker uh, for the reminder field or any other field and I can keep doing that I can add more reminders if I want to have different reminder dates to be set by people they can uh, they can do that and fill that in on the, on the field there okay hope that helps